didn't do one of these all week last week. Um, it was a very IRL intensive week, a lot going on in meat space, and I try to record these things prior to 8 in the morning, and uh, I just wasn't around at 8 in the morning most days, including yesterday. I decided, and I mean this is a extremely fraught thing that happens to a lot of people in my industry is trying to figure out a job title for yourself like how do you what do you say you do but in terms of what do you say you are because that seems to be the language that people use and my uh sort of what i came up with landed on most recently was the phrase consulting designer and this is a concept, I mean, I just pinched it actually, if I recalled that uh, Sherlock Holmes by, with uh, the, one of the more recent ones with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch et al. Considered, he called himself a consulting detective. And I thought that the analog was kind of amusing, consulting designer. Now... What do I mean by that? The question really kind of reduces to, well, well sort of what, what do I mean by design and what do I mean by, by consulting? And design, I mean, the problem with the word design and designer is, you know, when I would go to a cocktail party, for example, and uh, somebody would come up to me and say, well, what do I do? And I say, well, I'm a designer. The, the responses that I get are kind of like, oh, you mean like interiors? And it's like, you know, no. Um, so the concept of just getting, getting a set of pair of words together that kind of means something um, and sort of change the, the coloration, I guess, or the bias of the term. It's really kind of weird because in the 50s and 60s mainly, and I guess into the 70s with all of the cybernetic stuff and all of the, uh, and whatnot, I mean, cybernetics started in the 40s, but Herbert Simon wrote The Sciences of the Artificial in 1969 and the design methods movement sort of began with Alexander's notes on the synthesis of form and then you got Bruce Archer in there and Horace Riddle etc etc the general kind of idea that design is more important than just decorating things or trying to make things look nice was at the center. And I mean, what they were talking about designing economies, they were talking about designing societies. And I mean, there's a very high modernist streak in there, but that's what they meant. And so in the case of design, it's like, well, something I tweeted out yesterday was that whereas an engineer or engineering takes zero possibilities and takes it to, you know, at least one possibility. The design is kind of like taking arbitrarily many possibilities and narrowing it to exactly one good possibility and one good outcome. And that's a fundamentally different problem. You know, that's that's the different the, the problem of you know, how do I, how do I do a thing versus how do I do a thing out of many possible things? How do I choose what the course of action is? And I mean, that's sort of really, you know, where I focus a lot of my energy. And in the context of consulting, like, what does it mean? What do I imagine that means? is that my role as an outsider, the, f the fact that I am feral is significant because when you're part of a team in a long-term relationship within an organization, 
you have all sorts of equities that are, including actual equity, that are need to be accounted for and it really just kind of helps sometimes to have somebody come in from the outside and with a different perspective. And so my contribution and the actual function of what I actually do is draw in things from disparate sources, draw in things from the outside, including and including and synthesizing them, sorry, with things from the inside. Of, of an organization and compressing them and squashing them down so that uh, you know in the case of a design problem this kind of big model is a search space eliminating big chunks of the search space is really kind of what design is all about or, or otherwise making it possible to traverse the search space uh, in an easier fashion. So those are sort of two functions. Those are two capabilities that are kind of intertwined. So yeah, you know, I, if I wanted to summarize it, I would say that I help companies systematize their processes and conceptual structures. And that can span from you know, strategic resource planning, risk management, all the way down to how some specific piece of software works. My role is really about perspective and compression and the local clearance of entropy. And now, I am going to finish my coffee.